Greetings, Sisless people, and Sonon Deve Freaks, and welcome back to Pokemon 3D here in company with my Noctal. We are blocking the entrance uh, to the Pokemon Center because there is no safe place. Nowhere is safe from my domain. But anyway, I am training my Pokemon uh, ahead of the Pokemon League, and I think that next episode we will actually start uh, our road, our journey to victory and world domination. Over here, in uh, Victory Road, uh, or else uh, Route 27, uh, the boring name is Route 27, but uh, even NPCs call it the Victory Road. Anyway, I find myself in the Safari Zone, I was training a bit my Pokémon, but unfortunately there is uh, basically no more way to train uh, my Pokémon decently, because Pokémon here are level 22, 23 maximum, so I will probably face Victory Road and then uh, train uh, a little bit more. Oh, Victory Road over here! Yes, this is the cave that we have to pass through to arrive to Indigo Plateau. I will probably train uh, a little bit over there uh, to refine a bit my skills. Uh, today though I want to show you two exclusive locations of Pokemon 3D, which are uh, Berry Vista and Twirl Forest. So to do that we have to ask uh, kindly Noctaw to fly as, uh, well me, I mean uh, it's quite already a bit of weight to fly me to Golden Road City, so don't ask uh, also you to be carried by Noctal. But who am I kidding? No one watches my video, so it would still just be me. Anyway, what we can do in uh, Golden Road City in Pokemon 3D that we couldn't do in Pokemon Gold or Pokemon Hard Gold is to access uh, the train station over here. Because uh, to actually be able to access it. Oh, nice! Uh, were they here in Pokemon uh, Gold and uh, Hard Gold? This ticket machine is out of order. I never remember there were ticket machines, uh, even if uh, the, the design of it looks uh, uh, like uh, it belongs to Pokemon Gold. Anyway, to be able to use uh, the train, uh, you would have to first de defeat uh, the Pokemon League, then go to Kanto, do stuff, and then the train would be available. Now we cannot travel to Kanto, amazing train. Amazing <laughs> train, yes! That train is so aerodynamic, I swear. It looks, it reminds me of Hagrid of uh, the first uh, PlayStation games of Harry Potter. All aboard the Hagrid train, but we cannot uh, travel to Kanto, but we can travel already to Berry Vista and Twirl Forest. Welcome to the Magnet Train. Can you tell me where you want to go? Oh, I can choose to go to Saffron City? But theoretically I cannot go to Saffron City yet, because uh, Saffron City is in Kanto. I wonder if I can already do that, but no, I won't do that because I want to follow the original plot. I will show you Barry Vista first. Okay, right this way, sir. Thank you. Took me so long uh, to... <laughs> nice, I like it. I like seeing new places, what can I say? Oh, the train is waiting uh, here for me, thank you. It took me so long uh, to actually be able to use the train uh, in my original Pokemon Gold uh, playtime uh, that I was wondering if the train was like the, the ship in which you could actually fight inside. It would have been amazing if you could fight uh, uh, trainers, but I guess it was it's just uh, a fast way to get around. But this is just this, basically. It's n really nothing special. Nice, I like how... <laughs> what happened here? There is... Uh... Oh, because we can actually go down here. Oh, nice! Uh, there is some kind of a promenade over there. Well, not really a promenade, but uh, a vista. What? I should have expected that from Barry Vista. They basically decided to create this place only to uh, allow you to plant berries in the in the best conditions because it's annoying to go around to water your berries everywhere instead you just plant them all here berry fields of berry vista the weather is always perfect for your berries to grow here see and i think i will uh, take advantage of this uh, to plant uh, i say an oran berry and also um cherry berry because uh, those are the most useful ones I have very few of them, so I have to be careful. And I will water them. And we're done with Cherry Vista! Cherry Vista, Berry Vista! Uh, so nice, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I am in oblivion, I descend dimensions. 
Let's do this again, but with a proper camera. There we go. Ah, now it is a great uh, vista. Pretty nice, pretty nice, even with uh, this kind of uh, sunset. Enjoy the ocean view while your berries grow. <laughs> nice, I like it. Can I sit here? Of course not, I'm unable to sit. I mean, I must say that they had a really nice idea, the Pokemon 3D developers. Good job. I wish they did it also in, um, in Pokemon 3D, uh, in, sorry, in Pokemon Gold and Heart Gold. Oh look, a hidden grotto! I almost missed it. It would have been actually very nice, even because otherwise uh, the... Um, I got a potion? Alright, fair enough. Otherwise uh, the train goes only in one direction and doesn't go anywhere else. Thank you! Look at the train is waiting for me. But now I wonder before leaving... Any hidden item over here? No hidden items, okay. Oh sorry, I stepped on the flowers. Thank you, kind sir! Welcome to the Magda train! <laughs> we'll soon depart. Can you imagine if I just te take the towel and fly away from here and this guy is like, um, oh, I'm sure I left off a guy over here, I have to wait till he decides to come back. For Golderoad City, are you coming aboard? Of course! Let's go back to Golderoad City. So in these days I am... Uh, training a bit uh, in um, the safari zone, nearby the safari zone and uh, it gets very boring even because it takes a lot of time to uh, level up uh, only of one level, a Pokemon of mine but uh, I must say that there is a way that I really enjoy training which is uh, actually muting the game and uh, uh, putting in the background on YouTube uh, uh, Glitch X City um, Pokemon Remixes it makes all the training and all the fights more epic, I swear. I swear I'm not affiliated with her or anything. <laughs> it's not like she knows me or anything. But... I really enjoy her remixes, so... It's always nice to training, uh, listening to some badass remix. Uh, which, in my opinion, is perfect because they are... Uh, the perfect balance between uh, um, the original soundtrack and a remix. It's not too similar, it's not too far away. Okay, I am ready to face Twer Forest, which, as I said, is uh, much more of an adventure compared to Barry Vista. It's actually... I would call it a dungeon. I mean, it reminds me of uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeons locations. Get out of the way, lady. And it will be actually very interesting, because uh, I faced it only once, and I don't absolutely remember how it is. Yes, yes, we saw each other three seconds ago. Twirl Forest. Okay, right this way, sir. He thinks, why would anyone want to go to the godforsaken uh, forest? This is Twirl Forest. Scary, huh? Not really, but uh, creepy, huh? For a, for a Pokemon game, it is, clearly. So if you want to know where uh, those locations are, Barry Vista is here on the ocean between Newburgh Town and Cherry Grove City. Also, I love the fact that they added these new locations because it fills a bit the map. I wish there was also a location here, for example, or somewhere else, while instead Twirl Forest is over here, basically on the other side of the sea near the safari zone, so not even that far away from where I was training. And we can go down. Nurse Joy! Hello! I don't trust you at all. Hey there, traveler. Do you want to continue adventuring to this forest? It's easy to get lost, so better take this. I received a mini map card. What the hell is that? I don't absolutely remember that. It's a little map for your pocket gear that lets you look at an overhead view of the area. What? What? When I first played this game and this area, I d d there wasn't this thing. At least not that I remember. Let me hear your Pokémon real quick. I don't need your help, Nurse Joy. Okay, the map might quite be useful because it's a bit of a labyrinth. Thank you, Nurse Joy. First thing you you have done nice in Pokémon games, other than wishing me to come back soon at the Pokémon Center so that my Pokémon would get hurt, huh? This is a path hikers often take to get back to a small village. What? That's weird because it's, it's not like there is uh, any small village nearby. Okay. But look at here! 
Look at here, is that even English? Minimap? Oh, nice! Oh, maybe yes, I had it. it basically, it shows you how the um, zoomed out uh, 2D view of uh, Pokemon Gold would be. It would be exactly like this. Very nice. The yellow part is basically the, the void. There is no there. I see an hidden grotto. Also, I'm still just trying to decide which Pokemon to leave home uh, for uh, my trip uh, through Victory Road uh, towards the Indigo Plateau. So, I should probably train that Pokemon a bit more right now. I think the choice should be between Sandslash and Sudovudo. Point is, Sandslash doesn't have any useful uh, um, hidden machines while Sudovudo has, because uh, he has uh, um, Rock Smash. The only place, though, that I would need Rock Smash in Victory Road, if I remember correctly, is uh, uh, right at the cave, right before uh, Indigo Plateau. So, since I have any way to train someone in Victory Road, uh, it's any way useless. Like, I can't even leave Sudovudo home, uh, because in Victory Road uh, I will be training, so if I cannot access to some area because of uh, me not having Rock Smash, uh, I can simply do that again. A hidden grotto, item, Luxury Ball, which I believe it's basically useless, but at least it's some kind of a Pokeball. So I would say that I think the best uh, choice would be leaving uh, Sudovudo home, and therefore uh, I will chain him a bit. I'm sorry, Sudovudo, I really don't want to leave you home, but, you know, Sudovudo is poking at garbage. That's why I leave you home, Sudovudo. Anyway, oh! Yeah, escape rope. If you get lost, <laughs> this is useful. Then again, I have uh, Sandslash that has um, dig, so... No hidden items. So, it's not like it explains... Oh, what the hell? Totally don't remember this. Oh! I'm back where I started! This is so confusing! I don't know what to do anymore! I tried so many paths, and all lead back here! I am going to leave this place forever! What? You want to know what this place is? It's a cruel maze, I can tell you that! It's like a dungeon, a mysterious one! Didn't I just say that this place reminded me of a mystery dungeon? Don't enter it! You're welcome! Yeah, yeah, get out of my sight! And he disappeared! I knew it, he's up to something. That just reminds me, that guy looked like Hagrid. It's all a conspiracy theory! I knew it! Hagrid is behind the train company, and now he's bringing all the victims here in a twirl forest in a cruel maze. Wait a second! Hey! I... I entered... I exited from here! What the hell? It closed immediately! This is like amnesia machine for pigs that were making the doors behind you disappear. There are two tragedies in life. One is to lose your heart desire. The other is to gain it. Um... That sounds dark for being in a Pokemon game. Well, I suppose uh, that uh, losing your heart desire means uh, that uh, you don't feel like living anymore. You don't... You are probably very depressed, like I am. And uh, you don't feel the will of living anymore, because you don't desire anything anymore, while gaining it, uh, does it probably mean that uh, you're falling in love with someone, which could be a tragedy. Oh, 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 item over there, and there is a way out over here. But obviously, first I'm gonna get the item. Let's take a look at the minimap. Surely it would help if they would tell me where is that I'm coming from, but anyway. Let's go collect this item. Is that a super potion? Yes. Mm -hmm. Another way out. Interesting. Very interesting. Ghastly? Nice. I don't even have Ghastly. Hmm. Go on, Faros. Let's paralyze Ghastly and then... Uh, don't you dare lick in me, pervert. Thunder Wave. Go Pokeball! It's level 12, come on. Oh, come on now! Don't be a bish! Oh, me look, oh no! Ampharos can no longer escape! I wonder what I will do now! Mm -hmm. 
there. Come on. Ah, are you there? Fine, 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 no ghastly. <sighs> fine, I will use a great pool. Uh, totally undeserved uh, for uh, a level 12 ghastly, but fine. I swear, I swear, ghastly. F okay, that's it. That's it. I don't even like ghastly that much. Discharge. What? Stop missing. Yeah, mm -hmm. what? Now you understood? What? Uh... Oh, I see how it is. I see how it is, but don't worry. This discharge won't me. I swear! I cannot even change it because it has me look. Tell me if I have to get defeated by a freaking. Uh, a freaking gas level 12. What? This is ridiculous. What? I swear I used the Master Ball. I won't allow that to happen. Super Potion. Yeah, but Super Potion won't do nothing. Fine, you want it? You got it. Hyper Potion. Huh? How about that? Yeah, yeah. So sooner or later. Sooner or later I will hit you with that. Sooner or later... My Discharge will actually work. Ah! This idiot, though. Made me waste two Pokeballs, one Great Ball, for 21 experience points, and a Hyper Potion. I swear. Oh great, I'm already lost. So I'm over here. Yes, but the point is that uh, it doesn't show you where uh, the um, these ledges are. These ledges that you cannot pass through. It doesn't show you where they are, so... It's not like a very useful map. Get out of your coughing. Let's see what's here this time. I'm just scouting right now where all the all the exits or entrances are. Am I back? Ah, yes, yes, yes. This, I was on the other side of the ledge last time that uh, I checked the map, so no point in going there. Well, I suppose that there are only two exits from this uh, area, so let's try this one. Oh, and I can even go back. This, though, looks like uh, an exit that uh, makes you go in a, um, in a choice, in a fork. So I wonder if the other exit will uh, make you go in an area in which you can uh, uh, find an item, maybe. Parasect? What the hell? I guess I will defeat you. But the mist uh, that there is in this forest uh, um, will uh, make your uh, attacks fail more often. So it's not really the case to train a bit here. Also, I see there are way too many Pokémon for my taste, and I understand that uh, it must be annoying to follow a video like that. So you know what I will do? Just wait for me. I will uh, go quickly to Goldenrod City, buy some... Uh, hmm, is this the... Uh, this is very trippy. We will buy some repellents and then come back here. So we found out that there are two ways to go. One, there was a fork and a sign, and the other one is this one. Well, we will see. Anyway, if I tell Sanslash to use Dig... Yes! I'm back here. Hello, Nurse Joy. Ah, didn't expect me here. I don't need your help and your stupid minimap. So I'll be right back. Here I am back in Twirl Forest. Can you believe they sell only normal repels at Golden Road City's mall? Ah, Nurse Joy, can you? Of course you can. Not for long, though. But anyway, now we can actually explore properly uh, this uh, kind of dungeon. Labyrinth, without being bothered by hordes and hordes of Pokémon. 30 levels under my Pokémon levels, and yet they almost kill me. Okay, let's use a Rappel, which I just realized is called Rappel, and not Repellent, as I thought. But anyway, let's enter, and of course, uh, the exit immediately crumbles. Hmm, so, we found two ways to go to exits in uh, this level. The first one leads to a fork. This one. 
Oh, there is also an item here. Ah, Max Rappel, yes, very useful, because uh, Rappels uh, don't really last long. So the voodoo is staying completely still, imitating a tree. Oh, really? He never does that. And here, if you try to fail and succeed, which have you done? Both? You have succeeded in failing. That's actually quite an accomplishment. So if we go back and check the other exits instead, which uh, theoretically should have been here, what the hell happened? What? Wait, wait a second? Is this uh, the... Let me see if I can adjust the camera. Yes, it is! What? I entered in the first exit and I came out from the second exit by just going back. What the hell? So what happens if I instead go here? Oh yes, this is the path that I wanted to explore indeed because it doesn't look like it has a fork. But at this point, I mean, that's his eye because uh, it looks like that uh, no matter where I go, it ports me wherever it wants me to be. So, it doesn't really... All oh, right, I shouldn't work that much because uh, the rappel works off. Let's use another rappel. And... Uh, mm, like, if I go back now, I should be at the second... Like, if I go back now, I should be at the second... I am back at the beginning! I am back at the beginning because... Uh... Oh no, this is so confusing. This is so confusing. So this camera is useful because uh, trees don't get in the way. But yes, this is the first exit. And the second exit is be behind those trees. But they go in different ways. And uh, if I enter this one and then go back, uh, I should exit from here. But instead, I exit from here. And if I enter here and go back, uh, I re-enter from uh, the place where there is no more entrance right now. This is so confusing. Okay, let's go slowly and try to understand. If I go this way, I see a hidden gro- I am back at the beginning! Uh, well, there's the train, uh, there's the guy that is still waiting for me to solve this puzzle here, there should be Nurse Joy. Aha, you're behind all of this! I knew it! Uh, okay, well, at least now we know that these... Uh, yes, I'm back here. Mm, the second exit is useless, it doesn't lead anywhere. So... Oh, it asked me if I want to use another rappel. Yes! Why didn't you ask me before? What the hell? Strong video. So, now at least I know for sure that I had to go through this. Yes, 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 yes. Now, one difficult choice. Uh, left or right? Uh, when there are forks in video games, I always use the tactic to go to the left, uh, to the left, to the left, always to the left, uh, if there are even more forks. Uh, um, and if it, I don't succeed, I start again, and I go all to the left, except the last one to the right, and so on, and, uh, until I will find the correct uh, way to go. Okay, what's here? Sometimes a step back may lead forward. If I go back here, I wonder where I will end up. So here... Yeah, there is an entrance over there. Or here... There is an item over there! <laughs> Where do you think I would go? By the look of it, uh, it even looks like a nugget! Money Celtic Viking Pirate! Yarr! Pillage everything! Yes, I found a nugget indeed. Well, I basically automatically chose right. Yes, I could have uh, even go there, but who knows. Life rewards you for the right decision. It means that the right path is the right decision in this case, or maybe it's the wrong decision because I chose uh, avarice and greedy over nothing, over purity. Where the hell am I? Am I back at the beginning? Um. Uh. What? What do you say? The right path is left if you step on the right path. 
This could be read in so many ways. Okay, let's try to reason. The right path is left if you step on the right path. So, it's like saying the correct path is no more if you step on the path to the right. So I have to step on the left, right? Unless it means that the right path is left, so I have to go to the left if you step on the right path. No, it doesn't make any sense. I have to go to the left. That's what it means. Over here. Yes, but let me check if there are items. Do you think just because... <laughs> That's what I thought. Max Rappel, think you can run away from the Kalti Viking Pirate? Thought so. Thought so. By the way, I'm using all these rappels. And uh, I am here with Slobudo, it must not be very nice uh, for him to stay behind me. I mean, I would uh, usually not use Rappel, but uh, I really need to because, uh, uh, you know, it's... Uh, uh, otherwise, I wouldn't be able to make this video, it would be way too many interruptions. Okay, so theoretically this uh, is the correct path. Here I can go... And here... Oh! An item over there! Uh, oh, but I was uh, right here, and I went to the left, so I went up. Uh, but it looks like also going down, it's... Uh, they are kind of connected, uh, so it was just all a trick. Mm, mm, this should be the exit, uh, if I chose uh, left. But over there there is an item! I don't care, item! ITEM! Smoke ball? Interesting. Ah, I think it allows you to run away from white Pokemon uh, always. Oh, here. Not all those who wander are lost. See, this is the exit that I should uh, take if I chose uh, right. But I'm smart and I will go back and choose the left once again. See, here. Yes, 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 yes. So here, to the left. The left. Okay, I should stop. Another fork, great. Sometimes the decision is hard to make, I know. So left or right? As I said, I will keep with my left policy. Oh no. Uh, what's here? Sometimes decision don't affect the result. <laughs> it, it is just a giant troll. I suppose forward. Sometimes the decision is hard to make. I am back! Well, what if I go left again? Uh, we'll say the same. Sometimes the decision don't affect the rest, and I go forward! Sometimes the decision is hard to make, and I go left! I don't care! I will arrive somewhere, sooner or later. Uh huh, believe it, sometimes decisions don't affect the result. <laughs> Something tells me that left and forward is not the right the way to go. I suppose uh, that stubbornness won't bring me anywhere. Let's try to the right. But I am back in the same place. Sometimes decisions only change your surroundings. No, this is right. I mean, this is correct. Okay. God damn it, English language. Why are you so complicated? Now I go forward. Sometimes the decision is hard to make. I am back, I think. Maybe I have to choose the right way to go. And uh, uh, the sign is telling me, by changing, uh, that I'm going the right path. Instead, if I read something that I've already read, it probably means that I made a mistake and I went back. At least that's what I understand from it. So, right. And now I should be at... Uh, sometimes the decision only change your surroundings. Good. Going forward is not a good idea, so... Nice. <laughs> nice. I mean, that is trippy. That is trippy. Uh, it's like I know that there is some kind of a curse uh, in uh, the Binding Goes of Isaac that uh, basically changes the room where you're supposed to go. Anyway, nice. Let's see. Back in a proper camera. 
these uh, rooms are mirrored, basically, because you have exactly the same over there. But I cannot pass to the other side, so I have to go here. Oh, here we are. There is a scissor or scissor. Well, I always used to call it scissor. And this is the boss uh, of uh, Tour Forest. I mean, the first time that I played this, it took me so long to arrive here, even because I wanted to explore and steal and loot everything. Now, instead of going randomly and talking, chat, I arrived here. Nice. So, you might think it's just a scissor, scissor, scissor. But I remember it was pretty high level. In my opinion, it's 60 or so. But I should be able to take on him, even if I remember it was very difficult. But all six of my Pokémon? Come on. Hmm. Typhlosion, probably. I think. No, I think I'll send Kingler first. I'll send Kingler first, because Typhlosion is my is one of my trump cards. So I don't want to burn it immediately. Ha! <laughs> Did you get it? Burn Typhlosion, impossible, right? Anyway, Caesar. You're a very rare Pokémon, but I don't care about you, because you're just a metal insect, and I hate insects, I'm sorry. So... Face me! The Wild Scissor attacked! Nice! Yo, yes, this is the boss of Twelve Forest, even if... Uh, I suppose I will also go on exploring a bit! What? What? Level 80? How am I supposed to defeat it? I thought it was level 60! What? What the hell? Oh, uh, then I'm afraid that even if I use all six of my Pokémon, I can do anything to him. Even because Caesar is a very fast Pokémon. Oh no, this is bad. I think that after Hu Hu, the Kaltivaki Pirate new Overlord of Johto might suffer another defeat. But not so easy, Caesar. Get wrecked by my Surf. Oh no. Please don't one-shot me. Okay, almost though. Oh, uh, this is not going to be very nice. I don't think that mud shot would do much more. It's foggy, that means that Pokémon will fail more often, so let's hope that he will fail. Of course he won't fail. I'm afraid that uh, my Pokémon will become sacrifices one after another. Ampharos. Ampharos is not even full health, uh, so I'm not sure what you can do against him. Even because... Uh, uh, I wish I could Thunder Wave and paralyze him so I would attack first, uh, but Thunder Wave uh, is uh, not effective against Steel Pokémon. So the only chance is that he uh, attacks me and he gets paralyzed, so that it won't happen. Power Gem? Double hit. <laughs> I don't think this is going good. Power jam again. Come on, we can do it. Aha, I missed, huh? Come on, now for us. Oh, I missed. Point is that even if uh, I'm about to lose, uh, oh, why are you missing continuously, stupid fog? Should I just try to sneak behind Caesar and punch him or so? Well, punching Steel is not a great idea, but uh, there's no one to disqualify me, you know? Ah, plus he won't see me, it's foggy. Ah, poor Ampharos. I'm sorry to make all my Pokémon faint like this. It's time to use... Uh, I say... Sandslash! Come on, Sandslash! You can do this! I believe in you! I don't want to lose uh, and be food for insects uh, in the Twirl Forest. Uh, let's go with a dig. Iron Head. I see how it is. Oh, I see how it is! Uh, of course! Oh, look at me! I'm Caesar! I never miss! Aha! I missed, huh? I'm so good! Oh, I will shot all of your Pokémon because I'm level 80! I mean, to avoid losing, I could even catch him with a Master Ball, but no, with the hell. I will... Uh, Waste a Master Ball on this idiot. Sudavudo! It's not a good choice. Rock Slide. <laughs> it's a graphic, isn't it? Oh, look at me! I'm Caesar! I never miss! 
Mm, I'm so that good. I will shot all of your Pokemon. Only, only your Pokemon will miss. Aha! It missed, huh? Not salty. Not salty at all. Oh, critical hit! Oh, you also do critical hits. You will pay for this. I swear. You won't defeat me. You won't defeat me. I don't even care. I don't even care. The point is that even if uh, I send uh, someone and uh, I start healing the other Pokemon with the revive, uh, this this stupid scissor can uh, anyway one shot uh, all my Pokemon. So. I won't do it in time. Deflusion. You're my only chance. Lava Plume. Oh, he's faster, huh? Get wrecked. Do like a giant, hyper, mega, brutal uh, critical hit. That's our only chance. <gasps> yes! Yes! It's super effective! Yes! Get destroyed! Yes! <laughs> nice! 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 Good job, Typhlusion! Oh! And we're getting flamethrower! Shut up, Persona! Well, uh, flamethrower is 90, while Lava Plume is 80, so obviously I will uh, teach it instead of Lava Plume that allow me to win this. Even because I almost forgot, uh, Scissor should be Steel and Bug type, so. A fire attack is four times effective. Nice. See, if I would probably use the Typhlosion at the beginning, I would have lost. And Typhlosion learned Flamethrower. But now, my dears, let me show you a little secret of mine. My dear Noctowl here, that theoretically had absolutely no chance against Caesar. Like, what could have Noctowl do? So if Scizor would have defeated my Typhlosion, I would have been left only with Noctal to face him. Noctal obviously is weaker than Scizor level 80, but the point is that I would have fainted myself, because there was also no way to run away, because no way you can run away from a level 80 Pokémon like that. Or can you? Remembering that I had to face a strong Pokémon earlier when I found the smoke ball laying on the ground, I gave it to my Noctowl. If I would have been left, if I would have been cornered, if the Overlord would have been close to fall and relinquish his throne by a mere stupid bug like Scizor Caesar, I don't even know your name, I would have been able to run away anyway. Thanks to the smoke ball. Like, do, have you seen my Skyrim episodes? All my Skyrim episodes I run away continuously, I'm an expert at running away. You cannot stop and defeat the new overlord of Johto, Celtic Pirate, except you kinda destroyed four of my Pokémon, but don't worry, let's use some revives, I've had eight anyway, so... I'm sorry, my dear Pokémon, but see, we managed to win, we were good. I'll use it on Sunslash, I don't even need to use them on, uh, on my Pokémon, because uh, the, the danger is over, but at least uh, I want to say thanks to them. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, wait a second. I thought uh, that it would have been weird if there was no loot. Lucky Egg! Oh, you know what Lucky Egg is? No, wait, no, no, that's not, that's not possible. I thought that it was... Uh, an item to be held by a Pokémon, it, it is an egg filled with happiness that earns extra experience points in battle. Nice! I don't even know if this is... Uh, item exists in the Pokemon world, uh, or they just created it. Uh, for a second I thought it was uh, an egg that uh, will hatch in a Pokemon and uh, there was a high chance to have uh, a shiny coming out from it, but instead... Nice, so when I want to train a Pokemon I will give him the lucky egg. Nice. Let's see if there is anything. No! No hidden items. So what if I go back here? Oh. Trees! Trees everywhere. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I don't have any idea where am I. Unless... Uh, 
unless there is something... Oh, of course, of course! Running around and... Uh, where the hell am I? Never trust a sign. <laughs> Do you trust this one? That's a good point. That's a good point. I thought that I would have been out of the dungeon. Oh, yes, now I am out of the dungeon. Well, it was nice defeating Caesar. And uh, now I can go... Nerzai! Obey your new overlord and heal my Pokémon! Thank you. Very kind. I think I will end this episode here. But... Uh, uh, if you saw, there was uh, the, um, the room with uh, two entrances slash exits on the other side uh, uh, that I couldn't access to uh, right before the boss. So I wonder if uh, I try a different combination in these uh, trippy rooms uh, I will end up in the other side, and what's on the other side? If there is maybe another Pokémon, another strong Pokémon. Also, the other time that uh, I uh, played Pokémon 3D by myself years ago, I found uh, Scizor. It's probably Scizor, let's be honest. But uh, maybe there is another uh, boss, uh, or maybe some items, so... I will definitely come back to check by myself, I don't think it's worth another episode. Yes, thank you, thanks for waiting me. And uh, I suppose that uh, if there is nothing else that I can show you, next time, after this majestic victory, fruit of uh, strategy, because... Uh, oh, okay. No, 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 I don't need to use another one. Even if I could use one for people. Oh, it's snowing! Yes, it's, it's actually snowing uh, quite uh, uh, a lot in these days, indeed. Oh, so now I can also see the, the little mini-map of all the cities. Next time, I suppose, uh, I will start uh, Route 27, also known as Victory Road, after training a bit more. So, I will play... Uh, Stumble fight with the skids. That, that sounds very creepy. And I'll see you next time. Nice run, the freaks. This is all. Bye bye.